Hi, I'm Dr. Samaria Savito, visiting assistant professor at Ponce School of Medicine and Health Sciences and instructor at UT Southwestern Medical Center. The title of my paper is Why, After Chemotherapy, Is It Necessary to Use Translational Testing? As the number of cancer survivors rises, so does the importance in the understanding of what happens post-chemotherapy. The evidence is clear that chemotherapy affects not only cancer cells, but also healthy cells, including neurons, leading to long-term cognitive dysfunction in a large portion of survivors. In order to understand the mechanism's action, and in the hopes of reducing potential neurocognitive side effects of chemotherapy, preclinical testing should be used much more efficiently. However, the field is lacking translational clinical studies to help bring clinical studies and animal models together. Spatial learning and memory is a paradigm that, based on the Morris water maze, the most common paradigm in rodent models, and it is available for clinical studies in humans. This test could help us overcome this, this weakness in translational paradigms. There is an overwhelming need to understand whether water maze is truly the model we should be using post-chemotherapy or if there are other models that should be used including fear conditioning and object recognition. It is of great importance to understand the mechanisms and side effects of new drugs, appropriate pharmacotherapies, and the confounding factors related to chemotherapy treatment. This review is both important to basic scientists and clinicians to determine how translational paradigms are critical to our future of research and what paradigms are appropriate for our technological advance in society. Programs such as Memory Island use the quadrant-based system of water maze with four quadrants, one in each, and a coordinate-based system. The person is put into the center of the island as the mouse is placed into the water and is asked to find objects located next to a visible target. In the case of the, the Memory Island, it's next to a flagpole. After which, the flags are taken away and the person is asked to go find the target again. This allows tracking with distance, latency, cumulative distance to target, as well as velocity, all measures that we use in Morris Water Maze. One study has found that there are uh, impairments, not necessarily in the learning of the paradigm, but impairments in the memory portion of the paradigm, including the delayed memory, which is also something that we do in the preclinical studies to look at delayed memory uh, either acute or long-term 24 hours later. This, if this paradigm truly is the choice of study, that's excellent because thousands and thousands of labs use the Morris water maze to test all the pharmacotherapies. The problem is that most drug companies don't think the long-term cognitive side effects are even a factor. In fact, Many doctors don't even tell their patients that memory is one of the side effects of cancer drugs. And we really need to identify, and we can use this preclinical model, the spatial learning and memory paradigm, to test out these new drugs. There are a lot of new drugs that don't cause side effects in humans or in animals, and they should be more readily studied. But there are also, most drugs aren't ever studied. So, we need to, to instruct the, both the scientists to study more about translational paradigms and how they can be used in both systems, and clinicians who need to look at these basic research and, and look at the drugs identified for their reduced cognitive side effects. This will help the patient in their wayfinding and their ability to get around and their healthy functioning of life. So I hope you enjoy this paper. It is uh, kind of my platform of telling people that translational testing really is the future. Thank you.